Hey, welcome to today's video. In today's video, let's take a look how we can precisely control polygroup colors here in ZBrush. So for this example, I'm gonna jump into Lightbox and let's just grab something like this Dynamesh Sphere 32. If I double click on it, you can see what that looks like. If I turn on my polyframe, you can see what that uh, currently looks like as far as the topology is concerned. All right, to simplify this, we can go to geometry and let's find something called Z Remesher. And Z Remesher, I'm just gonna set this to something super low like 0.1 and I'm gonna turn Adapt off and I do have my active symmetry. I'm just gonna do Z Remesh. And this is gonna give me a nice clean sphere to play with. All right, so now in this example, uh, let's see how we can control precise color of all the poly groups uh, that we can create. So to do this, I'm going to jump into Z Modeler. I'm going to hover over a face, press spacebar. Let's go to poly groups. And for this example, I'm just going to go a single poly. Now, if I click on the poly, you can see that ZBrush is going to automatically assign it a green color. I didn't choose this green color. It was given to me randomly by default. What if I want to control this or change this, right? Maybe I'm building a sci-fi object doing some kind of a box modeling here in ZBrush. And I really wanna have full control over what the polygroup colors are. So what I could do is I can hover over the next face and then I can click on it, hold down the left mouse button the entire time, and then just tap Alt a few times until you find the color that you like. So in this case, I'm gonna go with this uh, pink one, that's fine. Now I can very carefully go around and select the polygroups that I like. And that's gonna be great because it's gonna give me full control, right? For example, if I go into extrude and do, let's do polygroup all, right? I can now push this in. And for example, I can grab this color and push it out. So I have full control over the manipulation of this object. Now, the interesting thing is when you perform an extrude, it's going to change the colors back to some other random color. All right, but that's okay because now we can fully control each color individually. If you hover over the face, press spacebar and go back into polygroup. If I hover over the face, now you see on the bottom, there's a message, a little message uh, shows up. It says alt equals new and shift equals pick, right? So now we know that to change these, if I wanted to change all of these colors right here, I can simply click tap alt to change to any color that I choose. Let's say I like this one. Now I can of course go through and change the polygroup color once again. But what happens if I wanna take this kind of a salmon color and now I want to create a loop going around with this color, how do I pick it, right? So to pick something, you just simply click, then press shift, then release the shift, release the click, and now let's, for example, hover over another face, press spacebar, and let's do a poly loop. And now if I do a poly loop, it's gonna give me the poly loop color of this color that I just chose. So once again, to select the color, you just simply click on it. It's going to change, which is gonna throw you off if you're new. Then press shift key to sample it and change it back. Simply hover over the loop, and now I, if I click on it, it's gonna turn into the green loop instead. All right, so this is super important and it's one of those foundational things that you must know in order to take full advantage of Z Modeler and do you know some kind of a box modeling. All right, just as I sign off uh, one more time, if I wanted to create a loop of a different color, I don't want the green anymore, I can click, hold the uh, left mouse button, press Alt and select some other uh, loop color that I like. All right, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in our next one.